Creating snazzy charts and dashboards are all possible with just a few clicks of a button in Excel. Impress your boss the next time you present your HR data and metrics with a very polished looking chart. So we all know that you can make some really neat charts in Excel. And I think that charts are a great way for you to visually represent the information that you want to share. And let's say you've been tracking throughout the year all of your hires and staffing statistics. So you have some information here. So let's go ahead and select it. And we are going to say insert. And let's select a bar chart. You can do a column, you can do 3D, uh, whatever you like. There's all kinds of options that you can select from. And you want to be sure to play around with it and select a chart that will represent the information in the best possible way for you. So you can hover over the different options up here. You can, it'll give you a preview of what it might look like and you can select which one you want. You can drop down here and there's even more. So just hover over those, see which one that you like the best and which one will represent the information for you in the way that that is most useful for you. I like this one because it has the numbers on it and um, I like the colors. So I'm gonna go ahead and select that. And then what you can do is double click inside of the title so that you can update the title. We're gonna call this one hires by month. And that way you have a great chart right there for you that you've just um, been able to create based on the information that you have. Let me move this over here. Now we wanna go ahead and create another chart. So you've also been tracking the hires by business unit. So let's go ahead and select that one. And let's pick a different chart for that. Let's try a pie chart. So we can um, select a pie chart. And again, it's gonna give us the different chart layouts that we can choose from, and we can hover over them to see which one we like the best. I like ones that, um, hopefully there's one that will represent and have not just the colors, I think it's somewhat hard to, to see the colors um, just when there's a bunch of different departments and divisions. I kind of like this one because it has the labels around it. And I think that that one's probably the best, the best chart to represent the information that I wanna share. So I'm gonna select that one. So now you've got two charts here. So I am gonna go ahead and change that title because that one is hires by business unit. All right, and let's copy this. We're gonna select it, hit Control C for copy, and let's paste this into a PowerPoint slide. I'm gonna right click, and instead of pasting using the destination theme, which is gonna may give it some different colors or different um, appearance, I'm gonna move over here and say, keep source formatting. And then I select that, and then it looks exactly like it did on my Excel spreadsheet, which is, which is how I liked it. And from here, I can move it around, and I can create my slide, the rest of my slides here in PowerPoint around this information. You'll notice I have a slide up here that is an HR dashboard. It looks great. It's a template that you can download from my website, and it is something that you can also create in Excel. And it's uh, super easy. You basically just have your um, data behind your charts that you could update, and it'll automatically update your chart for you. And then you can leave it formatted just how you want it and save it as a PDF, or you can, uh, copy and paste it into your PowerPoint presentation. But it's so easy to make dashboards in Excel using these charts, and it's a great way to visually represent the data that you've been tracking all year and pulling together. With all the tips and tricks you've learned from this series, you're gonna be able to make really professional looking dashboards for your organization.
Be sure to visit my website, SharonSmithHR.com, grab your free download of helpful spreadsheet formulas for HR professionals, and don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Leave me a comment below. Let me know what additional content you'd like to see. Thank you so much for watching.